Hey y'all, Scott here. With Valentine's Day coming up, virginity is out of the spotlight. So let's celebrate by playing a game focused entirely on... Oh shit, it's pronounced breasts? I always thought it was pronounced beans. So now we're deliberately spiking everything. We're spiking the punch, the food, the ballot box. Please don't tell on us. Oh look, here's the DJ we got. DJ Abstinence, DJ for school kids. Ah, Scott Wozniak, DJ Abstinence Greeter. You will not be disappointed in my services. I made the best playlist for kids that are half my age. It's all here on my trusty laptop. I thought that was a beer. Hey y'all, Scott here. So I was just working on my definitive list of Nintendo consoles with microphones on them. Yeah, the Game Boy Advance didn't make the list. That's actually a good thing. It's fairly annoying to have to blow into the microphone or something for a game. But I actually found a loophole with some Nintendo systems where you don't actually have to blow into the mic. So all I have to do is grab your system, grab an air horn, bring it close. Now the space generally reserved for manuals are used for DLC codes, terms and conditions, or advertisements. Can't wait to pop open Sonic Mania Plus. Ah! Paws and Claws Pet Resort opens up with a great establishing shot, almost like it's gonna be a vet house tour. Oh, hi! You caught me in a goose! Yes, I'm sure you've heard something along the lines of Hey guys, Loot Crate sent me this. I love Loot Crate. Let's see what they included in the box this month. Oh shit, a sack. Loot Crate sponsorships have probably funded Oklahoma's government. They're everywhere. All right, heavy rain. We open on a naked man in bed. At least I can finally say I've played this game. To everybody who's like, ah, Scott doesn't play my favorite games. Well, fuck you, have you played Chicken Shoot? Celebrating the best years of 2018, it's the Yearies. Hey y'all, Scott here, and welcome to the Yearies, the annual yearly Year of the Year awards that awards the finest in years this past year. Before we get to Year of the Year for 2018, let's take a moment to reflect on the years we've lost over the years. Yeah, it looks like we've got about six hours to kill while that video plays. Uh, the problem is, after preparing for the Yuri so much, the only two things I'm good at discussing right now are years and games. So I just gotta come up with some year-based video game topics. Oh! And here we have the ladies of Dead or Alive. Blinky, Inky, Pinky, Clyde, they've got them all. I have to pick my favorite girl of the bunch, and we have all this fun information displayed. Hey, age not available. That's Dead or Alive lingo for... <laughs> Apparently this game has strong language and violence. Language? I mean, there's some words you might see on CBS from time to time, but nothing you couldn't say in a church parking lot. Violence? Yeah, this left an impression on me. I've been with it for a few hours so far, but from what I've played now, this is what you call a wolf game. That's right, I said it. F*** out, Wolf Quest. Hey y'all, Scott here. I'm on life support now. No reason, just felt like it. I've been told the machine I'm hooked up to is doing some pretty great stuff. It's efficient, it's useful, it's made by mad cats. I should probably start proofreading my will. It's one of the most memorable experiences to have as a fan, for better or for worse. A waiting for new information, counting the days till the release, getting a final name, holy shit, okay, I'm a mess. My name's Ben and we'll figure it out later, Limbo, ever since I was born. I don't know how to deal with this. I've been going off with a fucking rocker, and just to show you how insane I've been lately... I ate here! Hey y'all, Scott here. <gasps> I have a Wii loaded with WiiWare games! I have a Wii loaded with WiiWare games! I have a Wii loaded with WiiWare games! You have osteoporosis. I have a Wii loaded with WiiWare games. Four to five ain't bad. You shoot animated chickens, yes, how dare they knit? We have to kill them all! You keep shooting chickens until it's time for the next stage, which is a completely different part of the world, helping alleviate their chicken infestation. The Himalayas, yeah, big chicken problem down there. Oh, look at this, this, this is paradise. So the plot of Sonic CD, Dr. Robotnik has chained a planet to the ground. That son of a bitch. Even then, I'd say the idea of Atari becoming defunct has lost all meaning. Every time I open up the fridge, there's an article about Atari being bought or going bankrupt. Video games are a tricky bunch, and development of them can be wild. I mean, how many times have you seen a developer interview where they say, Yeah, it was pretty easy. Each cabinet comes with a keychain. This is definitely just to reiterate how small these are. Like, wow, they're so tiny, you can fit them on your keys. But seriously, who's gonna do that? Oh my god, I gotta drive to the hospital. Let me get my car key. Oh, oh, oh. I ended up ripping the keychains off of most of these. They really dig into your palms while playing them. Of course, you could play this with the family with all the saucy questions removed. Still, it's a great way to accidentally let the truth out. If you woke up in bed with a giant tarantula next to you, how would you react? My daughter's adopted f 
Cyberpunk. Now please keep in mind, when I say a certain game is my game of the year, it is solely based on my opinion, and it could be for a variety of different reasons. Uh, which game was the most fun, which game was the most impressive, which game was the most groundbreaking. It really changes from year to year what constitutes as a game of the year for me. And also, there's a reason why these posters are plastered around the neighborhood. Please don't take me seriously. Hey y'all, Scott here. <laughs> I'll take that as a sign. I should subscribe to some boxes. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to waste money. Now I've dipped my toes into wasting money by buying a PS4 Pro, but I think it's time to get mega reckless. I'll just look up how to waste money. Oh, it redirected me to lootcrate.com. Hey all, Scott here. Happy Cyber Wednesday, the first Wednesday after Cyber Monday, the official holiday for all things me. Cyber Monday is all about deals, deals, and regret. And Cyber Wednesday is when we all take a moment to reflect on those three things. Ah. Mostly regret. The moment I saw this thing, I knew what was bound to come. Well, that was the quickest six hours I've ever experienced. It felt like 22 minutes or something. And it looks like it's finally time to reveal the winner. And the winner for year of the year 2018 is 2018. What the f***? Hey all, Scott here. Ooh, look at me, I'm the Nintendo Switch. I sold over 32 million units. Yeah, big whoop. Uh, how many units did the human race sell? Hmm, try 7 billion units. That's right, f*** you, Nintendo. You know, if you think about it, we don't have it that bad. Like, imagine if we were fish right now. Like, f*** we have it good. They should just make death illegal. End the channel already! God, well, maybe Kid Fit Island Resort is a better fitness game. Kid Fit Island Resort is a scam. Ten fitness games. Okay, games that get you up and at it. Exercise games. Let's take a look at these mini games. Surfing. Keep your pointer in the moving circle. Grabbing coconuts. Just tilt the Wii remote. Run on a log. Move the Wii remote and nunchuck. Back and forth. These games are not fitness based. There's like one mini game where you run with the Wii remote nunchuck. There's one other where you run for two seconds and then you have to trace an outline with the pointer. These are not fitness games, these are run-of-the-mill minigames you'd find in any Wii minigame collection. And the fact that half of these minigames use the nunchuck and half don't, good god give me a break! For some reason they just have to force you to plug the nunchuck in for some of these games. All of these games would work perfectly with just a Wii remote. Why do I have to use the nunchuck to balance on a log? You have to keep on unplugging and plugging in the nunchuck to go throughout the minigames, and then 30 minutes later, it's over! So, overall, this game is... Moving on to Yamaha Supercross... No. What about Kart Racer? Now that's a title. This isn't nearly as bad as I wanted it to be. This is just boring. Boom. All right, I got one more left in me. We got Birthday Party Bash. Oh shit, Duncan Hines coupons. The coupons were expired. I just couldn't help myself. Games and years. Can't have one without the other. And plus, those two words are on my top three favorite concepts list. The third word being Jeff Keighley. Here to present Game of the Year, Jeff Keighley. Well, on to EA. Now, I had absolutely no expectations going into the Stadia event, so I refused to make predictions for it. But now we're finally into the real deal, the mainstay E3 presentations. So my predictions for EA Play 2019 is that I won't watch it. Let's start off with Big Beach Sports, published by THQ. That definitely helped them out. They only let me input three initials for my custom character, but oh my god, I can draw my own face with the DS. I will hand it to them with this game. Connecting to the DS to fully draw your own character's face is pretty charming and cool, especially for 2008. And the product placement from Guy makes things that much better. Can't make a character without a hat though, but come on, everybody's gotta have a hat. But then we get to the pure terror, known as somewhat tight turns. Drifting is something that separates the men from the boys with Mario Kart. If you don't drift, you look like a buffoon. Hey everybody, look at this guy, not getting as many turbo boosts by drifting, fucking imbecile. In Super Mario Kart, you justifiably drift by holding one of the shoulder buttons, but man, this is some tricky stuff. I'll say, all right guys, I'm going for it, I'm gonna drift, and then proceed to make a fool out of myself. Look, I'm on milk. Tecmo decided to butter up Dead or Alive's most iconic element and release it for $50. Oh man, I love volleyball! The only limited edition of the Lynx was exactly this, but I prefer it to all the Game Boy editions because this one is the Marlboro edition. You ever ask anybody how they got hooked on cigarettes? Yeah, the Lynx. You see, that's all fine and good, but a lot of games that were never awarded Game of the Year still call the re-release the Game of the Year edition. For example, Dead Island Game of the Year edition. Really? This is the story of a boy who talked about stupid Nintendo games. Ever since 2017, he's done it 149 times and shows no sign of shame. 
Every single week he'd go mad no wait this and fling smash that. It's really impressive how many sentences he could start with hey all. Any professional could make the argument he's gone off the deep end, but I think it's just how he's always been. He just enjoys talking about these things, regardless of what situations he gets himself into. Plus, he buys a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff, and he stated on multiple occasions he evades taxes. Like, Jesus Christ, I think he does it for fun! But with the Christmas season upon us, his passion may have finally brought him towards a bit of a crisis. Hey all, Scott here, and it's that time of year, the spending season, when it's okay to splurge a little bit and say, you know what, I, I could use a toothbrush. Yesterday was my go-to buy Flink Smash day. The day before that was buy the rights to socks day. Didn't pan out, lost a few grand. The day before that, I bought a few shares of Loot Crate. I should read the news more. And today, I'm gonna get my gallbladder removed just for the hell of it. I'm broke. The game of the year for many publications ended up being none other than Dragon Age Inquisition. Nobody f***ing talks about this game anymore. I'm sure it's a great game and all, but this just never felt like, ooh, the best game of the year. It's like most were like, f***, we don't want to give the award to a game with the subtitle for Wii U. That just looked tacky. Yeah, this is officially overstated. It's welcome. I've been looking for my Wii for the past day, but it must be like way deep and 500 miles away from here, County. Oh, sh it's a Wii. This is mine! It's truly just an opinion thing, so I'd really love to hear what others could play forever. Everybody has different picks, that's what makes this topic so interesting. And being stranded is great for us Brink players out there. Get me off of this fucking island! Alright, well now I have a better idea of what kind of games I should start playing. It's not like I have much else to do, I mean all they have here is a five below. Like, come on, no wonder it's deserted. Hey y'all, Scott here, and tonight's the big homecoming dance. Not to brag or anything, but I'm gonna get laid. Hey y'all, Scott here, and tonight was the big night seven years ago. Not to brag or anything, but I wish I got laid. The general Game of the Year nominations for each year I'll be showing are just what I perceived as the general Game of the Year nominees. Kind of the average ones, the Game Awards, and the big online gaming websites nominated. But what I pick as my Game of the Year will be solely based on what I played. Hey, why not? We'll go all the way back to 2001. Yeah, we're only covering my post-fetus era. My pre-fetus era can wait another day. Great homecoming dance doesn't require just blood, sweat, and tears. Just sweat and tears. That's why I'm going to great lengths to ensure this is going to be the greatest one ever. I turned my car into a walking advertisement for the dance, and I put in place some rules to ensure no pregnancies happen tonight. There's a strict no skin policy. If it ain't covered up, it's getting thrown out. If you don't abide by this policy, you must have flashlight taped to crotch. Yes, I spelled that right. This is to ensure things don't get too PG when the lights dim. And if things get out of hand, that's where our trusty chaperone enters the picture. He's been violently conditioned to resist all forms of alcohol, drugs, violence, and sex, and most importantly, sex. I propose a toast. This event had a single sponsor being Ice Mountain Mini Bottled Water. When you're thirsty but not that thirsty, Ice Mountain Mini Bottled Water available now. So please, raise an ounce to you. Merry Christmas. Jesus, that tastes small. So to end things off, to make your insufferable pain more fun, I got you all gifts. Is it a cure for zero degree burns? Oh, even better. Listen, take them, open them up, and let me know when you guys forget that you were totally murdered a few months back. What is this? We've got American Idol on PS2, it's $2.99, of course it blew. Karaoke revolution with no microphone, that might be fun. DJ band and guitar hero, just the games, price point zero. Games are games, ignore the fuss. FIFA there and everywhere, 99 cents, that's not even fair. Skylanders, it was just a phase, I turned these copies into a maze. Lego Dimensions, that really exists? I guarantee you, it was a miss. Games that are the anti-ass. Just take Paddleboard, you swine. Play it before it goes offline. Madden 16, 17, 18. Not as good as 08, pretty blatantly. But who cares? It's at a great price. Presents that'll make anybody say nice. Gifts with value and some class. It's a All right, let's play the Spike 2003 Video Game Awards winner for best animation. And, well, sorry human women, you've had a good run, but this game may help me in my quest to complete my character arc. I'm finally gonna get E-laid. 
Here we have the newest addition to the family. Lincoln. I'm cool with Lincoln, could never tell a lie, wooden teeth. I've always liked him. Ever since I learned about Lincoln in school, I was like, man, this guy's pretty cool, I want to grow one. Look at him, you just want to see him with grass in his skull. So we have to soak the Chia in water. Regardless of the method, it feels like I'm drowning or waterboarding him, so I'm just gonna give him a bath. Now we gotta spread these Chia seeds. I ran out of them halfway through. I panicked and used chili for the rest. It's all the same in the end. So we gotta keep watering Lincoln to keep the Chia healthy and growing for the next one to two weeks. I can't wait that long, I have a Lincoln to raise, I don't want to wait for it to grow! So I looked up some advanced Chia Pet techniques. All we need is some gloves and a hammer, we put the gloves on, take the hammer and swing- Damn it! Okay, this article name is starting to make a little more sense now. Hey y'all, Scott here, I got nothing. And when I'm completely bone dry when it comes to ideas, that's when we bust out the idea wheel. Let's see what we have to talk about today. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, well, I guess I'm talking about the L button today. Holy sh! I have no idea how I got 23 minutes out of that topic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we're 10 seconds away from the Wii Shop channel ending. If there's anything I've learned over the past 312 days... Looks like Rally was pretty good. The apocalypse immediately stopped after the shop channel closed down. I think everybody realized who the hell wanted to play Rabbit's Lab again. There was truly a metric ton on WiiWare, but considering the quality of most of the games on the service, and the fact that many of the best games are available elsewhere, have physical copies, or have been succeeded by new games that do fundamentally everything the WiiWare version did and then some, I have one final question. Was the Wii Shop channel closing worth going through this whole apocalypse? No. Dead or alive, extreme beach volleyball. Man, you can't get less beach volleyball than this. Putting this game on my shelf may make me feel like I have to clean all games surrounding it, but let's not focus on all this, and let's just focus on all this. Featuring Dennis Rodman, well there you go, it meets the quota. Oh man, we can gamble at the casino in this game. That's a pleasant surprise I wasn't expecting. That's the same feeling I get whenever I open up the newspaper. Ah, oh, they got Dilbert in this thing? One day into staying inside a cave and only playing WiiWare games and I'm feeling great. I pack some milk to help sustain myself so I can really take on anything. F*** this sentence. Now this is every retro enthusiast's worst nightmare. Oh yeah, pixels! Oh f*** 3D racing! Like, I can summarize this game in a quick paragraph and you could still tell it was a great story. You'd still want to see it played out. By the time I finish, I'd be explaining the story for 30 minutes, waving my arms around, and even I would have a hard time comprehending the plot. At least I can do this. I've always wanted to say yes to Guy Fieri. Movies weren't off limits either, especially Balls of Fury, available now on HD DVD. I remember the parody stupid comedy movie era. This fit right in alongside Scary Movie, Date Movie, Epic Movie. This was a fun movie, way to experience the Balls of Fury movie, movie trailer, and it even came with a free sh ping pong scary game. Movie, it's a little unsettling movie, having these gross 3D model movie, recreations scary of scary the actors, movie, but besides five. that, this is just a lame ping pong game with finicky as controls. Hi, Scott Wozniak, bankruptcy activist. Case Swiss, bankruptcy patrol. So I was hoping you could help me out a little bit here. According to the bank, government, and wallet, I have no money. Are you sure? Most people who claim bankruptcy have a forgotten gift card or something. I was actually gonna ask you to see if you could check my account and see if I left an Arby's card there or something. I don't know what to tell you, man. You're completely broke. Oh my god, I don't know how this could have happened. Really? You don't know why you're broke? You brought your entire stack of Flink Smash. Never leave the house without it. Never? It's a bitch. No one man needs this much Flink Smash. And why are they all wet? You don't get it, do you? Bankruptcy is just a hobby of mine. I'll quit it tomorrow and buy out the bank to replenish my funds. You don't have any money to buy the bank out with. Can you give me a loan to? This is great. I prefer Christmas too. Is bankruptcy a crime now? Is it illegal to be worthless? Well, if it is, I'm f Now, of course, you may ask, why am I resorting to real life virtual women this Valentine's Day? I could always try out dating apps. I could download Bumble. It's like Tinder for when you run out of matches on Tinder. Or I could try meeting somebody in person. Katomi's looking really good after saying that. Hey y'all, Scott here. Super Mario Kart, right? First one in the series. I haven't fully played through this and unlocked everything yet, so I should really do that to form a full opinion. Hey Scott, Scott here. I'm you 14 minutes into the future, and I'm here to warn you that you think Super Mario Kart is just okay. Thank you. Let's head to the poolside next. This 
This is great. You think the guy that programmed Math Grand Prix knew video games would become this? Oh man, there's a mini game I can play. I've had so many gaming accomplishments. Like I almost beat Kirby Star Allies and I can't even get through the hopping game. Hey y'all, Scott here. Check it out. It's the sequel confirmer. It tells you if the game you're scanning is a sequel or not. Yeah! Just right this way. God, I hate yards! The desk you sold is here now. Why is the desk in a dress? It has a new owner. That's just how he uses it. He's feeding it tea. Why is he playing tea with the desk? That's just what he wants to use it for. Well, yeah, but it's a desk. The point is, look how happy he is. Giving up your desk to fund an event for those in need and having it go to someone who will love it just as much as you did, you should be proud of him. You know, even if we didn't like some of these gifts, we found some we did like. And just because some of these are worthless to somebody, it doesn't mean someone else won't find value in them. That's a good point. Like, I hate organized crime, but that doesn't mean we want to ruin their fun. You know, we left a receipt here. It looks like he sold this desk to fund this. Oh. What the f***? You know, I didn't have a desk for 12 years. And look where I am. Murdered. I haven't shaved in 12 years. You shaved when you were 10? Seriously, no desk? What kind of freak has no desk? A freak who's willing to give it up to give others something nice. Yeah, like these Ice Mountain Mini Waters. Tastes like a fresh puddle. We got ourselves a Captain Marvel t-shirt. Now, when they asked me for my t-shirt size, I personally hit the largest size they offered by accident, so I can officially say I own a Captain Marvel blanket. First things first, this game has controls. We use them to play this game, and playing results in a win or a loss. Using the controller is the real deal with this game, and the graphics are really something on the screen. Ears? This game uses them by emitting sound, and don't get me started on having a title. This game does that, and it does it well. It's Major League Eating the Game. Those five words do it more justice than I ever could. The school dance is defined as the concept of dimming the lights in a school gym, hiring an underpaid DJ to play Dear God Anything Below by Flo Rida, and forcing children to show up to a school at night and sweat for three hours. You'd reach for your nearest JCPenney dress shirt, pay ten whole dollars to stand in the school auditorium on the weekend, and assume that this was it. This was the night you totally experienced what it's like to score. And then you realized, oh yeah, I'm 15, I'll just stand and do nothing for most of the dance. Well, if people get paid to talk about Loot Crate, then it must be good. <laughs> Let's check out their website. All right, LootCrate.com, home of Jacob's favorite box, apparently. Well, I can pick a crate. Oh my god, they've really expanded to all different kinds of crates. Last time I checked, they basically only had one Loot Crate box, but I guess enough people said good stuff but needs more Slam Crate, and boom, we got it now. Oh, wow, the Loot Vault. I can pick up random stuff they included in previous crates that are just rotting in their warehouse. All right, I think I know what I'm getting here. You see, I gotta go with a standard loot crate, but they offer a loot crate DX. I'd be a pussy for not getting that. I'm not super into comic books, and when loot crate says pop culture, they basically just mean superheroes at this point. I'm obviously much more of a video game guy, so I should grab a loot gaming box as well. And then why not? Loot remix. Now they basically just take random stuff from the loot vault, stuff from previous loot crates, and cram a bunch of old shit they can't get rid of into a loot remix, so let's go with all these! My crates are here! Yeah, I think the most interesting part of the casino is probably the table game, so let's do some blackjack. I don't know what's going on here, but these words are making me pretty happy, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Say what you will about Team Ninja, but those guys know how to pick a font. Roulette, so this is what All In looks like. Yeah, I lost. I don't know how most people can wake up in the morning knowing Vanilla Lake 1 exists. I'm bad at that track, just let me get 5th place and move on. Playing through the Grand Prix is like playing with a paddle ball backwards. Back in my room, Zach gave me craps and I think I'm gonna spread it. This generosity needs to go all over the island. I'm sending two bottles of nail polish remover to some other girls, well shit. On to another day of poolside, volleyball, gambling, good night. 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 Poolside, poolside, volleyball, gambling, good night. Jesus Christ! Now is the internet truly a stupid looking garbage man for killing what once were these little joys of video games? I mean, no, are you kidding me? They got Jet Roulette on this thing. Even with the song change, I think I've gotten about as much out of DOA XBV as I can muster. But Scott, you may squeal, you can play the hopping game again. Well, it is true, I can also get leprosy, so really anything's possible. This is definitely why so many NES games don't really tell you what to do or how to play, because you were expected to read the manual. And oh boy, were these things made for reading. Plus, they all had a notes and memos section in the back where you could jot down little reminders. I don't think anybody actually did this, so I'll start the trend. Gotta use these more often. Microsoft is up next and I predict that Phil Spencer doesn't exist. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Damn it! Man, I sure do wish they made another Final Fantasy. Like, are you kidding me? They made it 15 plus games in and you're acting like they're gonna stop there. 
Hey y'all, Scott here, quick. What's the first thing you think of when you think mysterious? Mysteries, right. There are so many questions in life that are left unanswered, like what's the point, why bother, and who cares? That's why I'm scouring the closet for answers to gaming's greatest mysteries, like didn't Luigi say f***ing Mario Golf? Alright, we have the answer to why the Xbox One cases are the way they are, and oh hey, check this out, it's my first fan art of Madden. Okay, and... oh. Yeah, I got invited to a dinner party by Chet Shaft. He used to be my manager when I worked at Games on a Shelf, and then I quit slash ran the store out of business. I think I put this with all the other letters I don't want to deal with. Hey all, Scott here. Nine steps ago, I wanted to experience hardships and indigestion. But then I discovered this nine step plan on how to successfully fail in the video game industry. And now I'm finally broke and depressed. So now it's time to spread that bankruptcy to you. Here's how to successfully fail as a video game studio. First off, please take a look at this. Yeah, I shit in my pants too. This is some scary stuff. We want to do this, but fail. So maybe if we eliminate the N's, the T, the E, the D, the O, and throw in some A's, some C's, an L, and an M. Well, son of a bitch, we have ourselves a role model. It's something more people want than you may think. Myself and countless others have had many sleepless nights where the only thing we could hear echoed in the darkness. Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort are great. They may seem like nothing more than motion control minigame collections. That's exactly what they were. Well, as a tribute to the instruction manual, I will fully commit to one and carry out whatever it tells me to do. Oh, okay. Oh, hey y'all, Scott Wozniak, dinner partier here. Jeb Jeb, vegan. Terry Lessler, veganer. Officer Steel Wool, justice supporter. Rex Mose, school dance chaperone and historian. Wendy's employee, Wendy's employee. Oh, so how do you all know Chet? He was a former vegan, and he bought milk. That son of a bitch! I pulled him over for money laundering. I'm chaperoning his dinner party. He stole a Baconator. That son of a bitch! I tanked the story managed, and he convinced me to quit one of the only jobs I ever had. Now I'm living off of unemployment checks in fear. Hi, Chet Chap, former Games on a Shelf manager, current doer of all things nothing. Welcome to the Shaft Family Estate's first annual dinner party. My largest priority at the moment. Due to some prior obligations, I can't be there with you tonight, but please feel free to help yourself to an old Shaft family recipe. This is Jimmy John's. This title always perplexed me. Literally any game released on the Wii could technically be titled Wii Play. They are all Wii games I can play. The title given folks are really working overtime on this one. Shh. Just call it We Play. Now some of the games I looked at here, I'd consider simply mediocre. Most of the games I'd consider shovelware. Now would I consider the data design game shovelware? No, I'd consider them sh What a way to spend the week of Valentine's Day, living it up playing Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Wow, just saying that hurt. Imagine actually doing it, it's pathetic. I should really start contributing more to the human race. Maybe I should start protesting and demanding changes to society. We eliminate the number four and replace it with the letter H. Outlaw headphone jacks. Foot gloves. Penguin flight school. Stamps for stamps. The MPAA should rate shirts. Reclassify aspartame as a vegetable. Make our avowal. I love begging companies to not do new things and to just do the same thing over and over again. But hey, I let all my desired sequels out of the bag. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't forget any. I have sinned. The Shaft family would like to express their gratitude to all attendees of the dinner party tonight. Terry Lessler and Jet, thank you for your strong acts of veganism. Carrots wouldn't be the same without you. Rick Mose, without you, I wouldn't be an alcoholic. It's Rex! Officer Steel Wool, thank you for your years of service. Wendy's employee, thank you for your years of service. And Scott, without you, I wouldn't have lost my job at Games on a Shelf. Thank you, everybody. Please, help yourself to a complimentary table knife and dig in. He's dead! Alright, listen guys, I'm not one to leave the party early, but when people start getting murdered, that's where I draw the line. Yeah, somebody's been murdered. Yeah. Yeah, can you pick that up on the way home? No, okay, we can leave, okay? Chet said the party's over at 9. He's f***ing dead. We at least owe him this. I'll stay. I'm free. Listen, we can get the murder stench out of here by listening to some good old-fashioned video game mysteries. Yeah, of course. Let's talk
fuck a series with just as many mysteries as it has dead <laughs> Somebody fucking died! And what better gift is there than video games? These things were expensive at some point in time. They better press than giving murder victims Battleborn. I should really do something big for these guys. I'll throw a charity gala. I just need to find a way to fund it. Can I take out a loan? What the f is wrong with you? But instead of making a great service for 60 bucks a year, Nintendo opted to make a mediocre one for 20. It was just so annoying that this was what we got after waiting a year for Nintendo Switch Online. They always kept saying, we'll have more to reveal about this service later. If Nintendo delayed the service just to get the online multiplayer for NES games working right, oh god. If a billion dollar company had problems getting NES games to run online, we're f***ed as a society. But even then, the games in those areas are either reskins of other games or unclothing mummies. Hook a frog. Gladly. Okay, so if any of you die, you have to tell me, okay? Wait, look! It looks like whoever the killer is had dark hair. Well, good, that narrowed it down a bit. Nintendo Switch has potential to be one of the greatest systems of all time. It just needs to fix a few things. The eShop needs a better design, the overall quality of the online service needs to be improved, the releases of newer and older titles should be much more evened out, needs to refrigerate food better, kill 99.9% .9 of germs, eat my vegetables, tell me ghost stories, drive my cousin to school, and if it does all that, then I think we have a winner on our hands. Yeah, there's just not a lot of background to this one. It's a Mario Kart that came out. Well, that's one point for Super Circuit. Oh, this is a close one. However, I'd make the argument that one of the most famous downfalls of a company was th k Alrighty, so now that we're all alone, we're all friends here. Who the fuck are you? We're just gonna cut to the chase. Were you the murderer? The only thing I kill is not abstinence. So it's possible you killed him. That's impossible. I hate murder. So do I. But you don't see me bragging about it. You know, that's it. I've had it. Good luck not murdering people. Murderers. The best ones felt like an extension of the game's world. Like, oh man, it feels like I'm with Marcus Phoenix right now. Where did all this blood come from? Like, think about it. Would you really want to be a video game company? I tried being Activision once and it was hard. Nobody liked me. I was too scary and I laid off over 800 people. It was the worst Halloween ever. Yeah, we put a battle royale in Fallout 76. Oh, he said He's one of us! You're a parent in the Walmart video game section and you have only one thing on your mind. I have $20 and I need a weekend for my kid! Well, now that I've sustained a Patabal injury and fully think that Super Mario Kart is just okay, I have to let past me know that. Uh, he'll have no f***ing clue what to think about the game without me. Hey, Scott, Scott here! I'm you 14 minutes into the future, and I'm here to warn you that you think Super Mario Kart is just okay. Thank you. <laughs> you did good, future Scott. Well, now I guess I'll just play Mario Kart 64. Scott! These studios whip together games that barely have any thought, time, or money put into them, spanking them onto store shelves, generally for around 20 bucks or so, waiting for people who don't know any better to pick up the game because, oh, my little Jimmy has a Wii and he fucking hates chickens. In actuality, Majin refers to Masato Nishimura as Majin was his childhood nickname, so it's fine. The screen is fine. I mean, it's not like the screen is gonna kill me at a dinner party or anything, so it's fine. It's a common saying. And there you go. Listen to me talk for 13 minutes was step one of our non-step plan. We only have eight more to go until this bankruptcy meter goes even further down. I can't go through with this. We need to make money quick. We're selling soup now. It always works. Great talk, guys. Limited edition systems are fun to gawk at, but you know what else is fun to gawk at? This official statement from my doctor. Let's see what this illness is officially doing to me. Oh no. If I don't do anything about this mild congestion, I'm gonna die in 60 to 70 years! You used to be able to walk into a Walmart, shove your hand into the video game's bargain bin, and pull out, oh, well, my evening set. Chicken shoot! After manure, it's the first thing I think of when I hear the word sh**. Seriously? This is my worth to him? Connected Ventures? I'm a Wendy's employee, for God's sakes. Yeah, you know, I'm sick of people assuming I want NHL 16. Like, stop! Guys, look at this. What am I supposed to do with this? Actually, uh, I could sell this to my Rock Band 2 guy. He loves stuff like this. You know, actually, I could really use a new copy of Truth or Lies. Mine got worn out. And you know, I could use another emergency copy of Connect Adventures. Oh my god! There's a Wii Play! Partner, you have two ways to leave this establishment. Immediately or dead, yep, that's a threat. He calls me a corn dodger. Any of them that talk, it's very likely they're gonna be incredibly rude. Like, you ever have a carny act like this to you? Fuck you. Now, there's only one thing more addictive than reading actual mysteries about video games. 
Nicotine. Most Wii owners had debatably the best bowling game ever created bundled in with their consoles, so Brunswick tried to be a more realistic take on the sport. You can customize your bowler, you even have all possible options for different types of glasses. Aviator, jazz, or none. This game has an interesting font choice. They squish a lot of the letters together, which makes some words not look right. Hey, it looks like Noose has the best lap time. At least I can finally fulfill my dream of driving as an M&M. Some tracks are more competently designed than others, as in, these are actually playable. But that does not excuse the handful that were obviously not tested at all, like the Chocolate Factory or the house. But hey, I did finish the tracks. I don't care what anybody says, I didn't like Eminem's car racing. I'm never gonna eat an Eminem ever again. This looks like they wanted to call themselves Info Games, that name was already taken, so they went, uh, uh, yeah! Their entire game plan seems to be to acquire every single B-tier game franchise ever conceived. THQ Nordic will probably acquire the state of Nevada soon. Masculinity is a big deal for me, so I should really kill some fucking deer or something to keep it up. Yeah, deer have really been pissing me off lately, so Buck Fever will let me, you know, kill some. Hunting games are all over the place, but Buck Fever is the only one that has a funny title if you swap the first letters of buck and fever. We can only shoot bucks, of course shooting doe isn't allowed. This is buck fever after all. I just end up saying whatever and go up in wild shooting. Hey, look at this, I murdered. This was a pretty proud moment for me. I'm gonna make the sound of this deer falling my ringtone. But really, the you draw problem started coming in at full force when THQ decided to release it for the PS3 and Xbox 360, yikes. Put this sign up anywhere, you'll scare somebody. And this year, the Cyber Monday deals were pretty much the same as the Black Friday ones. The Ash Wednesday deals were terrible this year, so I was really looking forward to these days. Look at this, we have all these fun deals on Play-Doh. That was a fun thing to click buy on, but it doesn't really make me feel complete. But as it stands, this was always the most frustrating one for me to play. I wouldn't say this is my least favorite of the package, though. Just like anything the human race has done, it has more value than find me. <laughs> hey y'all, Scott here. It's time to kick back, relax, get your heart rate questionably low, because today, I'm gonna be showing you what happens when drywall and video games come together. <laughs> now, when a studio is acquired by a bigger company, that must mean that studio is safe from being shut down, right? What are you, stupid? Calamari Desert is easily the coolest one. It has a train. It's like, compared to most humans, Calamari Desert will always have that going for it. Hey all, Scott here. Happy Small Business Sunday! A while back, I started a non-profit charity organization, the We Play Project, where I take in old abandoned Wii Plays and give them a home. And I started to think, well, if I want to be a true nonprofit charity organization, I gotta find a way to make a profit off of this. So welcome to the only business that specializes in selling Wii Play and very little else. Do you guys sell Wii Play? Oh, don't even get me started! Hey all, Scott here. You know, I've made it nine years staying spoiler free on Heavy Rain, and the only way to stay as spoiler free as possible before playing it is to not play it. Christ, I'm only human! Your entire life you come to expect this, but then Nintendo decides to throw this at you. Oh fuck, the letters are evolving! We play. Do you? Is that a threat? Yeah, this was a solid game on the system, and that's coming from your local RPG hate and fling smash owner. I like that they got Rare to provide Donkey Kong's model for this game. I like the thought of intelligent systems trying to make it themselves. We just can't do it. So you have to play through all four cups. You get gold by placing first overall in each of them. Then the special cup unlocks and you can play the final cup in the game. Just kidding. Now you have to go back and complete all the cups again, but now collecting at least 100 coins overall. And that way you unlock the extra cups, which are filled with the tracks from Super Mario Kart. Man, measles are sounding pretty good right now. With the console's advanced technical specs and four controller ports for four player games, a new Mario Kart seemed like a shoe in for the N64. Holy shit, they did it. Mario Kart 64 was initially called Super Mario Kart R during development. All these letters, nah, -uh. this one. The developers just decided, <laughs> you know what, let's just f***ing do it, and gave it the same subtitle as every other Nintendo 64 game. I wanted a cool and effective setup for playing games and watching movies, an organized collection of the games I loved and always wanted to play. A room somebody could walk into and go, f*** you got Fling Smash? Find me. spent $250 on this system. This is a classic game of Where's Waldo, but with various different me's. Sometimes they swim, other times they stand. And let me address this letter from the Find Me fan community. Sometimes the me's are in space too, all right? There's some variety. This was always a throwaway game in the package for me. It's not bad, but it's just not good. And then the Saturday night of that week, the big dance would be held and, and kids would smoke and drink before and after it. Oh, no, thank you. You see, I prefer just questioning why a lot of seniors in high school were taking freshmen. What the hell was going on there? You see, a big part of homecoming was asking somebody on a date. All you had to do was grab a poster board, think of some pun, and ask him out. It was all about flashiness over function with those things. As long as you were memorable and had a pun involved. 
nobody cared. But the fact that Wii Play is decently fun to play means my Wii Play reselling business will never die out. Not to be sold separately. Shit, the jig is up. The back of Yoshi's head is more iconic than Warren Harding, my favorite 29th president of the United States. I can easily tell you all the playable characters in Mario Kart 64, but who the f was the 28th president? I don't know. The soundtrack has some incredibly memorable tunes. Ah, sh it was Woodrow Wilson. Although I would say Super Mario Kart had better ones. The 64s are great, it just can't beat its predecessor in my opinion. So this game has a terrifying cursor. Could have used a paw print, maybe an arrow, a fucking triangle, no, arthritis. We can play each game in multiplayer, which, hey, with all games requiring only one Wii remote per player, this is one of those multiplayer games you can gracefully play all by yourself. Well, ever since the game launched, many fans noticed this sign in the courtyard of Peach's Castle. Now, under normal circumstances, it's gibberish, but when we slide the virgin gogs on, we can make out that it potentially says, L is real 2401. Now, what does that mean? No sex for me, thanks. Hey all, Scott here. You wouldn't believe it. I was on a train, it crashed, and now I'm washed up on this deserted island. I really shouldn't have worn this shirt today. Alright, we're talking politics. It's your favorite honor, and today we're gonna be settling this right now. Does Mario Kart 64 control poorly or alright? Yes. Well, 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 what do we have here? The company I have the most embarrassing feelings towards. Uh, well, that means I have the most predictions for Nintendo at E3 2019, uh, like Metroid Prime 5. The GameCube games will finally come to Wii U Virtual Console. The DLC for Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games on Wii U. A photo emerges of Shigeru Miyamoto looking completely lost in the Epic Games booth. Uh, Doug Bowser proves his worth as the new Nintendo of America president by eating an entire ice cream sandwich in one bite on Treehouse Live. Uh, Bill Trennan is visibly impressed. Hey y'all, Scott here, and I'm freaking out here. I was outside, and I heard somebody say one of the numbers in my soch. Privacy is my number one concern, all right? I don't want anybody to know anything about me. For Christ's sakes, I blur out my inkjet numbers. You may ask why I'm so keen on privacy. Where did it all begin? Well, let me ask you this. How the hell did we learn about Geist DS? The game was canceled. We weren't supposed to know anything about it, but now we know everything about it. Really, anything can get revealed at this point. Here's my blood type. Damn it! Wait, come on. What other expenses did I have back in high school? Medical bills? Please, I've had this dark spot on my thigh for the past six years and nothing's happened. I don't need a doctor. So all in all, I like my game room. There's not much I can really complain about. <laughs> Except that, that does happen sometimes. If you want a fuller experience, as in being able to race on whichever course you want, being able to play as whichever character you want, or play battle mode, get multiple copies of the game. What, do you think this was a charity? Hey all, Scott here. I just got back from an art auction, and I'm really excited to finally have such a pristine piece of art in my home. It's something people look at and say, oh shit, I just realized this is the box art for Wario World. So now that I've proven the validity of video games as art, or at least box art is art, I feel like I can convince anybody to do anything, which is why I'm gonna start this rant against serial killers. Here's a message to all you serial killers out there. Stop! Yes, my favorite method of showing everybody what games I haven't played up until now. I pulled two things off my shelf to pick from, so let's see what comes off of the backlog first. Ah, damn. But out of all Game Boy Advance accessories or models, they all pale in comparison to the Visteon Dockable Entertainment featuring Game Boy Advance. An entertainment system for vehicles that could also play Game Boy Advance games with a wireless controller. This is by far the most unique and mind-blowing Game Boy Advance model of all time that's sure to put anybody who comes in contact with it into a state of shock and awe. Oh shit, it's a Game Boy. Well, if I'm gonna be on this deserted island for the rest of my life, it would be nice to know what games I should have shipped to me so I can have something to play. Uh, I have a lot of time on my hands, so why not? Hi gang, it's Scott's inner voice here. I just realized what I said was really f***ing stupid. If I can ship games to the island, then I can ask somebody for help. So I'm gonna make sure I can hear my inner voice. Well, heat stroke struck. Well, let's talk about my five desert island games. We play a vu. Is a una manas? Blasting hordes of enemies is incredibly fun, mainly because, dare I say, Resident Evil 4 is one of the most well-designed and balanced games I've ever played. It has this giant named El Gigante. That's right, f*** you, Max Payne 3. Now, Sonic 1 and 2 were actually originally released on mobile years before they were updated to be the Christian Whitehead versions. 
Yeah, these weren't great. Sonic Spinball was originally on the App Store, but was later delisted. Damn it! Also, there's a lot of random things I keep forgetting you can do in this game, like change the minimap and turn it into a speedometer and a much more artsy minimap, or turn off the background music by hitting L. I forgot you could do that. I accidentally hit the L button and I thought it was a glitch. But hey, you learn something new every day. Yesterday I found out I was doing laundry wrong this whole time. You gotta be kidding me. We play motions all right, all things considered. However, I do have a stronger attachment to the first game. But this one does have some hidden games in there. If you wait on the title screen long enough, you can do this and this. And if you hold B on the title screen, you get this and you can see all the R zest in the game. But one question remains. Can you sell it separately, son of a bitch? Hello, this is Scott Wozniak's We Play Motion Reselling Studios. Liquidate the company! Alright, so we all hated Chet, right? Yeah. He's a born again carnivore, he's led many to unemployment, he's money laundered, he's wronged all of us. Who's to say one of us isn't the killer? That's right. If we can't leave, we might as well find out who viciously murdered Chad. Oh, I love puzzles. Guys, listen, one of us may be a murderer, but we're all human at the end of the day. Let's just listen to some gaming mysteries about Luigi and call it a night. Wasn't that the guy who said f***ing Mario Golf? One neat feature is you can save your performances as videos, add a bunch of filters and text, it's great. I'm all out of paper, I'll just use Boogie for my grocery list. So far, we play isn't doing too much revolutionary with the pointing functionality of the Wii Remote outside of me abuse. Wii Sports, yeah, game wouldn't be as fun without the Wii Remote. The motion control makes that game. We play, these games can be played with a computer mouse and they'd be virtually the exact same. That's where Pose Me comes in, a game that couldn't be played with a computer mouse because while it uses the pointer, it forces you to rotate it all around. You swap between different poses with the A and B buttons to fit them within the silhouette bubbles appearing all over the place. You gotta get as many poses as you can into them without having the bubbles reach the bottom of the screen, and for God's sakes, don't look at the birds, they're just a distraction. This was never a personal favorite of mine, it's always something where I was worried somebody would notice me playing. Is that now like I said, you could buy a controller and set your phone up as if it was a console, but at that point, just buy a fucking Switch. But mobile phones do have a pro to them compared to the Switch. They have Atari Fit. One of the most infamous being Donkey Kong Racing, a bit of a successor to Diddy Kong Racing. With Rare being a Microsoft company after the buyout, they couldn't develop for Nintendo home consoles anymore, so they tried to rework Donkey Kong Racing into Saberman Stampede. That didn't come out either, so move over Donkey Kong Racing, we got laid instead. One of the first things I used my sweet, sweet coins on was this Wii Remote holder. Yes, I looked at all of this and said, fuck these, my Wii Remotes need a box. This is just a simple collapsible holder for the controllers. I use this for all kinds of remotes and lighters. I thought it was so adequate at holding, I got the other color, which after saying that, I should have brought that little factoid about myself to the grave. One could argue I didn't need this, but more could argue I didn't need two. Don't think I'm a big subscription boxes guy. Yeah, I get the whole appeal is getting a box full of new stuff every month and not knowing what you're gonna get. Uh, lots of people like that and I totally understand it. It's just for me, I personally see that as getting a bunch of shit I don't want. But hey, that's just my opinion, please respect that. Just don't act like this thing is this almighty deity to you. I don't wanna hear anything about how you met your wife through Loot Crate or something. Welcome murderies to the first centennial charity gala for recent murder victims. I knew it was a good idea getting murdered. <laughs> oh yeah, we all went to that dinner party together, got murdered, got treated for it, how was all that? Well, have you ever died? Not personally, but I'll get around to it eventually. This is great, I know these guys. We all went to Chet Chef's dinner party, great food, ended in murder. But everybody was diagnosed with murder except for me, these guys got treated, and look at them now. But that's the thing, they all survived, and they all already like me. So I just have to make sure they rave about this gala, so I'm just gonna try to sweeten the deal for all of them. Terry and Jeb, vegans. I laced their meat with tofu. Rex Mose, school dance chaperone. I color coordinated all the things that aren't beer so he knows what he should and shouldn't eliminate. Wendy's employee, Wendy's employee. I heckled some Arby's drive throughs before I came here. I didn't even know he was coming tonight. It works out perfectly. Listen, these guys have seen it all. It must have been hell to go through the recovery process after being murdered, but it'll all be worth it after they get their gifts. So those were just a few canceled games throughout history, but far from all of them. Who knows, like I said, maybe we can return to this topic eventually, or even take a look at specific canceled games themselves. But as of right now, I'm a little more concerned with maintaining my privacy. How does it look on me? Uh, if guys DS can leak, who says my blood type and hair color can't? You know, I might want to go a step further. Maybe a little more. Just a little more. While there aren't any adoption deals going on, I was looking for some deals at the hospital this year. This gunshot wound is really starting to piss me off. Hey all, Scott here. Nothing makes the blind more uncomfortable than a good old fashioned game of charades.
We play E2. Es es o una amanaza. The eighth generation of game consoles had some of the most infamous cancellations of all time, in my opinion. The most heartbreaking of which was Project Rap Rabbit. Please care. Hotel for Dogs was a movie I almost saw back in 2009, and 10 years later, I still haven't. Now, I mean, something like Bummerman R, yeah, if that released in 2008, it would be like 15 bucks max on Xbox Live Arcade. And now, you see, that's a little thing us people who are talking about reboots right now call bullshit. Yes, we return to the fabled backlog, games I own but just have been refusing to play for the longest time. I personally consider something to officially be in the backlog if I've owned it for a full month and haven't played it yet. Out of all the games in there, I have calculated the game that has spent the longest time in the backlog is Max Payne 3, so I decided to start playing Resident Evil 4. How did Silent Hills not make it to store shelves, but Mega Flarp did? While a bit of 64's more arcadey feel is present here, this is definitely most similar to the first game. And that's evident by one major returning element. While the feather item didn't return from Super Mario Kart, Intelligent Systems made sure to bring back a fan favorite. <laughs> Coins are back, bitches! Yeah, I wasn't too awful thrilled with my Loot Crate DX. I'm also not too terribly interested in a lot of what Loot Crate considers pop culture. There's lots of stuff I like, but the majority of stuff in this box wasn't up my alley. I know a lot of people will probably say, Jesus, Scott, you're so negative. What do you like? If the game asks you a question, you answer the question, it'll determine if it's a lie or not. That's right, THQ made a lie detector for the Wii. I knew they could do it! Like how Super Mario Bros. 3 was supposed to be a play. You see how it opens up with a curtain rising, various platforms cast a shadow and have bolts on them like they were constructed as part of a set. Whenever a level ends, it's almost as if Mario was running off stage. This was a fan theory for the longest time, until it was actually confirmed by Shigeru Miyamoto. Now, if this was an actual play, I could sit down and watch. Who wrote this? Project Giant Robot was a game created to make the Wii U gamepad seem worthwhile, and that was it. Just a tech demo for the system that was all about making a giant robot and wreaking havoc as it. It was announced alongside Project Guard, which did end up releasing as Star Fox Guard. I would have assumed that this was just a tech demo, but Nintendo kept reaffirming that they were intending on releasing it for the Wii U as a full game. And I'm sure we all know how that turned out. Just think where the Wii U would be if this game released. But hey, it's called the Smurfs Dance Party. At least two of those words are right. Double Dash has barely aged a bit. It's still a blast to play, and it offers so much that no other Mario Kart has. Now, that still makes it fun to play today, but what makes it truly one of the best Mario Karts? Honestly, it was the bonus disc. Oh, it's midnight. Yeah, this one wasn't doing the launch. Okay, back to GameStop, where I was supposed to pre-order the game before waiting in line, Fuck. I bought a balance board instead. I bought it at Walmart at 103 a.m. Here's my mugshot to prove it. All right, and coming back, I can now experience the midnight launch of the digital versions of these games at 1.30 a.m. This is a bad night to wear flip-flops. I don't even like Pokemon. Club Nintendo was one of the only cults I was in that offered 3DS XL charging cradles. They were the best. The Nazis did do some crazy stuff with gravity, though. Carried some unusual munitions that canceled gravity when it detonated. Nope, oh, Hitler. Everybody has their happy place. They wouldn't make the t-shirts if that wasn't the case. And mine is Shiverburn Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Such a fun level. There's fire and ice. Can't ask for much more than this. Sometimes I like to hit up to go into first person view and look up at the mountains. Everybody has their happy place, and mine is Fleet Glide Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Everybody has their own personal favorite Mario Kart. I've heard countless people go on and on about how Super Mario Kart is the best. And I mean, I listen to them. Super Mario Kart is the best one because uh -huh, of how simple uh -huh, and intuitive yeah, it is. Mm -hmm, the track design yeah, is great uh -huh, and the items uh -huh, are balanced. Yeah, it's challenging mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm, battle mode mm -hmm, is phenomenal. Yeah. A Diablo 3 mug, hey, not bad. Let's see if it's of any quality. Oh shit, it works. Finally, oh my god. Now that's one thing I can finally cross off of my bucket list. Finally playing Resident Evil 4. Now I can move on to my next one, holding a Sega Saturn. I can die now. I have no clue how this game determines if what you said was a truth or a lie. I tried to sound like a bumbling idiot and it labeled it as a truth. I screamed into the mic and it labeled it as a truth. I said this game was garbage and it labeled it as a lie. It's broken. You're taking this pretty well, man. Who's to say you're not the killer? You're acting pretty carefree right now for someone whose life's at stake. It's a murder, not a tax audit. We'll be fine. Well, what about the Wendy's employee? Nobody ever suspects the Wendy's employee. Well, what about Steel Wool? He has a gun. Kim has a knife. Yeah, for fun, not for murder. <laughs> Guys, deep down, we can all be a murderer if we want. So let's just get down to the bottom of this. By a show of hands, who here murdered Shep? 
damn it. Hey all, Scott here. I don't know why it's taken me this long to start committing witchcraft, but here we are. I'm gonna try and look into the future and find out what all the E3 press conferences are gonna be like. Well, I ruined the surprise. So that was a short build-up to release board game. There's not much left to do other than actually play the thing. Oh wait, I stand corrected. We have to check out the bonus disc. So this is why people gave a shit about this game. Capcom announced that they'd be bringing the original Resident Evil in all of its 3D glory to the Game Boy Color. Oh man, just think about what life would be like if that actually came out. A cool idea, but Capcom just ended up making Resident Evil Gaiden instead. Eternal Darkness was shown off for the Nintendo 64. I'm not repeating myself. Canned and eventually put on the GameCube. But it was just a 100 minute long Nintendo commercial with footage of Mario 3 at the end. Man, f the kid, is that a warp whistle? I mean, you have to place first an all cup tour on 150cc to unlock mirror mode, and then you have to beat the star cup on mirror mode to unlock King Boo and Petey Piranha. You can't have one without the f***ing other! Toad and Toadette are the only other unlockable pair of characters, and they're unlocked by beating the special cup on 100cc. God, Toad is such a flaccid unlockable character. Like, is it really exciting to unlock Toad in a Mario Kart game? Uh, who goes... Holy sh! So I take out a loan for two grand and spend it all on dewormer paste. My finger slipped. Hey all, Scott here. After being born in 1997, I decided the next thing I wanted to do was go to E3 1999. Want proof? Well, here's the VHS tape from the event. What's up, 1999 livers? Here we are in the year 1999 at E3 1999. And if you need photographic proof, this is 1999. Gonna write that in the year 2019. See, I was there! I was also two at the time, but I was also there! So yeah, my love for this game is purely nostalgic. Looking at it critically, it's fine, it's just nothing special. So now I have to compare it to something else that I'm nostalgic over. So how does Mario Kart Super Circuit compare to Classroom Jeopardy? <laughs> yeah, it fucking stinks. Like if I pick Luigi and Paratroopa, because they're both products of crossbreeding, I can get the fireballs and the triple shells. Hey all, Scott here. I haven't checked out my birth certificate since last September. Yeah, I'm really falling behind, so let's see what it has in store for us. So my name was just a placeholder until they thought of something better. And they never did. Nothing like an existential crisis to start your day. Yes, Loot Remix. 15 bucks for this thing, filled with past Loot Crate items. Son of a bitch. Guys, after I sell these, I'm about to be swimming in $4. There are two specific eras of my life, when I didn't own two Battlestar Galactica Cylon Raider figures, and now. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm sorry, but most of the Tom Clancy game trailers just kind of blend together for me. So watching this trailer was the longest I ever held this expression. All right, well, here we have just a few things I'd like to see from a future Smash game. Of course, I could go on and on and on about this, but I decided to keep it fairly brief. Of course, if you want to see anything from Smash Brothers in the future, be sure to scream it from the rooftops. Let everybody know. While you're doing that, I'm going to mail this to Nintendo. <laughs> Should probably move that away from the mailbox. <laughs> That's why the IRS didn't receive my tax payments. <laughs> I'm getting audited. Hey all, Scott here. You know, people don't get that anymore. Combining the words Scott, all, hey, and here just doesn't connect with modern word hearers. That's why I'm going to change up the first four words I say to everybody to be understandable to more people. Uh, here, I have a lot of options to shift through. <laughs> Hi gang, it's Scott. Welcome to Scottsburg. Everybody? No, just Scott. Guys, look, a me. I played Fling Smash. People of you. Hey, anybody up for tennis? I bought a hat. I'm talking about reboots. I like that one. All these games, and I was still just gonna buy the 3DS for Pilot Wings Resort. Ubisoft probably asked themselves, what the hell are we doing here? And pulled the plug. I got a second box, let's see if they redeem themselves. Here's a Voltron beanie and scarf. Hell yeah, it's June. Marvel shoelaces. Uh, yeah, I am a strict fan of not shoelaces. And a Power Rangers minifigure. I don't know which was lamer. And next time I'm gonna beat a game from my backlog, I have no excuses to finally play Max Payne 3, so next time I'll be checking out Adventures of Dino Ricky on the NES. But hey, at least it wasn't Bioshock for the Vita. You wanna know how much we got on this? Just that. That's it. That's all we got. It never came out. Man, imagine what it's like to be Bioshock Vita. Yeah, but a lot of the junk with the Gaming Treasures box feels like, here's a fucking mouse pad. Hey y'all, Scott here, with a beret on top and anxiety on the bottom, I've created my latest masterpiece. 
Van Gogh's got to be rolling in his grave right now. I can't believe I'm saying this. I miss EA's 2018 show. At least with that, that was just an hour of stuff I didn't care about. Now I'm terrified of any video online with these three terms in the title. Now, because you have a partner, you can actually team up with an actual human being to play co-op. One player drives, the other uses items. Give me an E, give me an H, this mode is just fine. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, this raises more questions than answers. Koopa Paratroopa, these two are literally the same character except one's the product of crossbreeding. So here we are at Best Buy for the launch of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Where's my bug spray? We're back at Best Buy with bug spray in tow and no camouflage hat. One hour from launch and we have everything. I forgot the snake bike kit. I hope the bug spray repels the snakes. Morally, I feel it's just right to pick the characters that are already partners, but I love making combinations that just make no sense. Like, how the hell did we get to this point? I do love the character selection in this game, just for having all the Mario characters you'd expect to have in a Mario Kart, plus some why the f**ks. You can't have a Mario Kart roster without some why the f**ks. Cut NES games are way easier to re-release, that's why we're mainly getting them. I miss Wii Virtual Console era because it didn't feel like Nintendo made up excuses as to what they will and won't re-release, and now it feels like they say, oh, GameCube game Games are so hard to re-release. Here's Wrecking Crew, you'll like that. All in all, even if the service got worse with each console it appeared on, I'm gonna miss the virtual console. Even if Yoshi's Cookie never came to Wii U. Am I the only one that cares about that? General population, do you give a shit that Yoshi's Cookie never made it to Wii U virtual console? No. You heard it here first, folks. You know, after Hotel for Dogs, I'm in the mood for a cat scan and a pet simulation game, so how about we start things off with puppy love? So I'm brand loyal, I'm devoted, I want to scream my love for a company from the rooftop, so I named my character Tums. And hey, why not name the dog that too, nice and clear. Reboots can be groan-worthy sometimes, but I think they can be totally understandable and necessary. You can't make 20 installments of a game series called Need for Speed without out, like five reboots. You just can't. This is the Xbox E3 2019 briefing. I hope this announcer gets work outside of Microsoft's E3 every year. Hey all, Scott here. Let's roleplay. I'll be Sonic CD, and since I'm the only other person here, I'll also play the role of Scott. You. King Boo and Petey Piranha are total, yeah, we had some extra time in development and felt like drawn circles, but they're really fun characters to have as options. Birdo? And they introduced Toad Dead. Hey y'all, Scott here. I've always been a big supporter of local business. You can catch me every week commissioning the fire department to put out the fires I start. I love business so much, I am one now. Wanna know why the economy's failed ever since it was introduced? Because there's nothing to buy. Well, I'm here to change that. Introducing my new product, Scott talks about game commercials. I recorded myself talking about game commercials for 17 odd minutes and I decided to sell it at full price. What's full price? Stay tuned. To ensure this product will be as successful as possible, I am forcefully giving everybody it right now. It will start playing and at the end, you will have to pay. <laughs> if you don't want to be a bum. Oh f it's starting. I've been chipping away at my bucket list lately, now all I've got to do is have an irrational desire. PSP. It's like a nut you can play with outside. I want that. Pretty nice venue, right? Scored on a Labor Day sale. 14 grand instead of 15. My goal is to make the greatest homecoming dance ever with just as much no sex as I remember, but I can't do it all myself, which is why we hired a professional planner. Sir, you won't regret your choice. With me planning, this will be the best funeral Son ever. Of a bitch. The promo for Kirby Air Ride is a promo for the Kirby Right Back At You show, which leads into an Air Ride promo. I almost had to sound the alarms. Literally, this audience freaks out over anything. Like, Todd Howard could come back on stage. Hey, everybody, it's Todd Howard. I'm an arsonist. Yeah! Rage 2 update, Wolfenstein Youngblood and Cyberpilot coming soon, yeah, we know. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Words, words, he said words! This plot is perfectly fine for a classic Sonic title, just when I say it out loud, you end up having some questions. Why is he blue? Oh god, we're in E3 1999 memorabilia country now. Well, here we have a hat from the convention, it's one of the neatest ways to get lice. There's nothing new to any of this, it's literally just playing all the tracks in the game again. Am I really gonna go through with this? No. I did it anyways. Ha, <laughs> my patent just came in. It looks like I'm the official owner of the phrase, it looks fine now. It's a great phrase to use to describe games I don't care about, but don't wanna piss anybody off with my opinion on them. We'll be hearing that a lot this show. Of course, reveals can go haywire. Now, I don't think it's deliberate. I doubt marketing folks are in their board meetings going, all right guys, just finalized our reveal plan for the game. First, we f up. We can't wait for you to play Baldur's Gate 3 on Stadia. No, on PC, you can f right off. Heroes the video game. If this game came out, okay. If this game got canceled, okay. I have absolutely no opinion either way. Hey, there's my favorite murder victims. Hear that? We're his favorites. How are you guys liking the gala so far? I hate it. 
Imagine when I got murdered. How? That. What am I supposed to call you guys? I'm a big proponent of the term hospital junkies. Well, I'm more of a fan of the term charity messiah. What are you talking about? That describes no one in this room. What's wrong with him? Oh, you see, well, he's simply bludgeoned to death, but at the hospital, the doctors wrongfully diagnosed him as a burn victim. Can't you just take them off? Not if he wants to recover. <laughs> Now, it originally released on the PlayStation 3, it was later updated for PlayStation Move. Yes. It looks pretty good, but this pesky little thing won't come off. Here we have a Loot Crate DX box, something designed specifically for people who take things too seriously. This cost me $50 per month. Uh, the only thing I ever remember about this game is that it gave Nathan Spencer wife arm. What a twist, your dead wife has been a part of your robotic arm throughout the entire adventure. That's something worthy of being on the back of the box. They actually announced the dolphin would play DVDs, as in, Movies. I've been trying all day, it's just not gonna work. Now, there was a Japan exclusive model of the GameCube made by Panasonic that did play DVDs, the Panasonic Q, and Panasonic was one of the partners Nintendo announced alongside the Dolphin. So with the DVDs, they didn't lie-lie, but they lied. Hey y'all, Scott here. The only true way to know if you're tough shit if you got a Wii Remote holder for free for buying hundreds of dollars worth of Nintendo games and systems. That's a big fuck you to anybody who doubted me buying a Wii U. Yeah, I could do this. Hell yeah, death. Super Smash Brothers, the most beloved crossover fighting game on the planet, no doubt, but by now you should know that. Nobody reads this and says, is that a sandwich? Castlevania Resurrection was being developed for the Dreamcast and was going to be in the style of the Nintendo 64 Castlevanias. It was canceled because, remember, Dreamcast. And here we have the College Essentials. Having a bunch of your older systems plugged in at once is my favorite t-shirt right now, and leaving them all unplugged and in the closet makes it less likely you're gonna play them. You have to pull everything out and find all the cables that go with it just to realize you're breaking out a Sega CD just to play Double Switch. It's a mess. And NBA Live 04. How many sentences start with, I bought NBA Live 04 because of the Mario Kart bonus disc. Yeah, you could use GameCube games so much they incorporated the feature into the logo itself. I'm really surprised others haven't gone with this design. Instead, I usually went home early and just started to count how many copies of Premium Rush that I owned. That's why I want to throw my own homecoming dance. One that doesn't have the pressure of trying to get laid. One that's open to everybody. I mean, the Wii was the perfect platform for NES games. You look at the Wii remote and give it a little of this. Boom, NES controller. Well, I did it. I went over all the E3s from the 1990s, so grab your nearest cake, blow at the cigars since you don't have any candles handy, and rejoice because we only have 17 more E3s to go through. Well, this doesn't call for a celebration anymore. This calls for a coping strategy. Sega Game Gear games were eventually added in March of 2012. Oh, yay! We have to hold the right trigger while moving the left stick, and to interact with objects, we use the right stick when prompts come up. I have been waiting so long to finally use this banner. Oh, I realized I may not be cut out to be a father. I tried the whole treat an egg like a child for a day thing, but you can't spread Chia seeds on those. But I did take out life insurance on the pets, and now I can cash that out and afford a trip to the doctor, uh, just for a little checkup, you know, my foot hurts, that gunshot wound, you know, just the basics. <laughs> The chia seeds gave me a yeast infection on my head. The 3DS virtual console release of Super Mario Brothers was the way I first beat the game. You don't have to interact with lots of this stuff. Uh, for example, you can look at yourself in the mirror just to make Ethan look like a smug son of a bitch and very little else. It's shower time and we see some form of nudity. Yeah, this is all starting to make sense. Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. It looks fine. Wasteland 3. It looks fine. Xbox buys double fine. What better way to mourn the loss of a loved one than to fully replace them? I bought a backup. A hedgehog. Look at him. I can't wait to be a better Lincoln dad to him. I won't kill him. I'll treat him like any pet should be treated. I have a unicorn now. A new Chia pet means a new packet of Chia seeds, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to pour some on my head to live a day in their shoes. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna feel so- Time for Sean to go to bed. I go upstairs, I see he drew his brother dying. Oh, that's so normal! So Ethan has a bit of a blackout afterwards, and then... Who the f*** is that? You'd have to pop in an Xbox Live Arcade disc, but then you could download smaller bite-sized titles. Stuff like Feeding Frenzy and Dig Dug. Oh! Okay, we're getting another Smash Brothers reveal. Uh, this is a reprise of the King K. Rule trailer. I assume this is gonna be like Dixie Connor song. Ah! 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 What the f***? Eminem's 
kart racing wasn't good? I have $20 and I need a weekend for my kid! Did somebody order terrible? For everybody who's like, ah, Scott doesn't play my favorite games. Well, f you. Have you played Chicken Shoot? Jesus, humanity. Now, would I consider the data design game shovelware? No, I consider them sh Hey, y'all. Scott here. Oh, yeah. Garbage. But hey, if you want a more standard experience, here's the Sega Genesis Owl Pad. I'm sure somebody stood by this controller like you're waiting in the living room for your date to come downstairs and you're talking to her dad about how much you like the Sega Genesis controller. We're an Owl Pad family. What is up with the C button? I don't know how easy it is to see, but it is significantly stiffer than all the other buttons. The back is a soap dish. Now, Pets Crazy Monkeys, that's where things get interesting. The monkeys invade the Wii system. Three pets died and my foot hurts today, but... I have one last shot to make things right, because I will start to raise Daniel from Karate Kid. For f sake. Pretty much after every scene with Norman, he has to take a hit of whatever the hell this thing is. He's not addicted, he just does it every day. Gummy Bear's Magical Medallion. Have you ever wanted a mediocre 2D platformer starring a fake bear? Well, I got bad news for you, one exists. My favorite part about this game is f there's nothing outright terrible about this game, but there's nothing good either. It's literally the most basic 2D platform you could possibly imagine. This is like Gummy Bear's Ziplash to me. I'm sick of this. Time to move on to something different. Gummy Bear's Mini Golf takes those classic gummy bears we got to know in Magical Medallion and forces them to play golf. I didn't like this. <gasps> the controls felt stupid and the ball physics were weird, but other than that, it was great. Shelby visits this guy's father and is just like, is he the killer? Is he? And now Ethan. His next trial is to cut off one of his fingers. F that. Ethan doesn't cut off one of his fingers and leaves. All right, I think I figured it out. See, these are potentially the rarest games of all time. One of these may just be the rarest game of all time. And after all the research, after all the eBay searches, I've come down to which one would give me the most unique game collection of them all. Which one is, in fact, the rarest game of all time. Time. It's Sonic 2 with a line! The SuperPad 64 is the type of thing I think of first when I hear the term third-party controller. Cheaper in every sense of the word. But this was made by Performance. The company I immediately think of when I hear the term third-party controller is Mad Cats. If you walk into a building constructed by Mad Cats, get the f*** out of there. Now it's time to fight Jason. God, I'm kicking this kid's ass. Jesus, they should have called this game Jason f***ing dies. It's feeling like one of those B-Bond cool kind of days, you know? Here's the B-Bond cool for the Nintendo Switch. This hurts. Everything just doesn't feel right. These triggers, the sticks, the D-pad. No. Okay, I've never bought into third-party controllers before because you are almost never going to get the same experience or quality than from the first-party offerings. Sure, some stand out, but 90% of the time you're asking for trouble buying these things. Oh wow, a Nyko controller! Might as well be saying, oh wow, I can't just buy a pre-owned first-party controller or save up just a little more for the official one? Sure, some of them have their place in the market, but time and time again I just ask myself, why do most of these exist? And on top of that, Mad Cats pulled a fast one on me. This isn't a life support machine! This was just a bread box! Jason, you really shouldn't wander off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? What's wrong with you? Don't run away like that just to force me to buy you a balloon. A a damn it, he did it again! Everybody Jason! in this mall is gonna know how loud I can truly say Jason, but seriously, where'd Jason! he go? Oh my god, this crowd is ridiculous, I'm never gonna find it! Oh, here's the food court. Oh, Jason, he's across the street. Why is he across the street? What is he trying to gain from that? So, Jason runs towards Ethan in busy traffic and gets hit by a car. Jesus, they should have called this game Jason f***ing dies. This is supposed to be a textbook example of iToy usage, a game that shows us what iToy is capable of, so what exactly can iToy do? Nothing. On the way home, I have to come up with a response to Lauren. Uh, this one. You're gonna be a good girl, you're gonna go home, and let me get on with my investigation. What the hell was that? Actually, it seemed like Sonny was really pushing the iToy as a security device. Kinda. iToy Play 2 had this feature where you could leave the iToy running as a security camera and it would capture what goes on in your living room. That'll scare off the burglars. Oh f he's got an iToy! Well, if anything, we can repurpose the iToy as a security camera. Norm does more investigating and it turns out the origami killer and John Shepard's son this entire time 
was Scott Shelby. He can't be the killer, he has asthma. You sure you don't want a funeral? I'm really good at funerals. If I'm free next week, sure, but right now I want a school dance. All right, well I did some research, made a few calls, so I can officially say I'm legally able to plan school dances now. Oh, legal, yes! It really wasn't that difficult. A lot of my training carried over funeral, school dances, tomato, tomato. So what's the plan here? I was thinking we could do some fun activities, like we could stand up against the wall and just wait for somebody to talk to us. But why do so many people like school dances? The way I see it, you can't spell homecoming without alcohol poisoning. No! Oh, f what system is this for? Well, my obsession with Heavy Rain's lame characters has really taken a toll on my life these past few days. I have not cleaned my kitchen in days. I'll leave it like that. See, leaving garbage on a floor is a smart way to know if you have rats in the house. I'll know if I have rats if the garbage gets eaten. Just don't get it, they're just kids. It's their big night, it's their homecoming dance. Well, the chaperone is getting psychologically conditioned to be all for alcohol, drugs, violence, sex, and most importantly, sex. Well, Data Design made another Kawasaki licensed game, this time centered around quad bikes. Well, then it must be good! Back to Ethan. He's at a psychiatrist and is told he is not responsible for Jason's death. Sure. At the park with Sean now, and it is my mission to have this kid like me more than his mom. You know what that means, it's time to whip out the secret weapon, take out the boomerang, he'll eat that up. Now that is one happy kid. Ethan, you finally did it. Okay, we're back to sitting on the bench and not talking. And then we're back to having fun, man. Things are finally starting to look up. Ethan and Sean are having a good time, and then Sean just has to bring up his dead brother. We were so close. We were so close! All right, we got the DJ. Advertisements are out. Chaperone is being conditioned to be actively encouraging immorality. A ballot box has been spiked. All right, all that's left is the banner. We used a pre-man restaurant template. So you control your character by shifting the nunchuck up or down and by holding the Z button. You can probably make it by with just the one that came bundled with your console, but what if you want to play a local multiplayer game, or what if your controller breaks for some reason? This game puts the fun back into mini. It's about f***ing time. Introducing the Boomerang 64. The analog stick fell off of mine, and all that's left is a stick, so I had to improvise. Hey all, Scott here. Big day for me, I finally bought a shoelace. It's really firm, and on one end we have a USB connector. That's pretty unique. And on the other end, oh damn it, this always happens to me. It has built-in rumble if you slide some AAAs in, and there are two whole Z buttons for maximum. Pretty cool, right? Those are games, video games, and I gave you like 50 of them. Yeah, but these are terrible. I, uh, I feel like I've been murdered all over again. Is this even legal? G guys, I'm sorry. I just didn't have enough money for gifts. That's all I could have done. Oh, you didn't have enough money for actual presents, but you had enough money for that sign? Honestly, I've had that in my trunk for years. What even is this? That's NBA Live 14. Well, knowing that makes this present worse. I've been murdered far too many times to accept Lego dimensions for Christmas. And what am I to do with all these Maddens? 25, 15, 16, 08? You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Whoa, all right. We weren't the ones who just give out trash for Christmas. Well, excuse me for loving bankruptcy. I'm only doing this to get out of the hole. What? Well, you're only doing this for the money? And you gave us Battleboard? I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Listen, let me try to make it up to you. Terry, Jeb, have a burger. We're vegan. Yeah, I know. No cheese. Listen, just stop, okay? What's going on? Oh, God. He's been drinking too many of the Ice Mountain mini bottles. He's way overhydrated. Somebody give him some sand. This is a f***ing disaster. I didn't want to push for sending, and now that I am and we got the chaperone pushing for it, people don't care. No! Oh. Sorry, man. I thought that wasn't a beer. I want to know who did try with their controller? Nickelodeon. Put Spongebob in your hands. Man, yeah, we were pre at the homeless shelter early tonight, and then we went to pick a plate on the side of the road. It was great. Well, I donated blood in the car. It was great. Hey, guys, condoms, right? Why aren't you f***ing? Norm time. We're discussing what we know about the origami killer. Not much, but he drowns his victims in rainwater, and only when it rains, a certain amount. We'll meet with a meteorologist, Tom, to stop the rain. Hey, welcome to homecoming. Uh, before you go, just to let you know, you can get, uh, as some would put it, drunk. I'm a little worried about the alcohol endorsement. That wasn't a part of my original plan, but apparently that's what people want. Hey man, appreciate the offer. How about a Bible around here I could read? Get all the kids out of the room. Three, two... One Jesus Christ, censor that. Technically, any copy of any game can be slightly altered to become the rarest version of that game. See, here, look. 
One of a kind. Something that really makes you ask Nintendo, I'm getting hypothermia, can you just release the Wii U now? No. All right, we got a lawn chair for eating food rations in, we got a sleeping bag to store food rations in, we have food rations for eating food rations. If I run out of food rations, I have fishing maps just in case, you know. If I got a fish, I got a fish. I have an emergency snake bite kit. It's a Pokemon launch. Water pouch, I am strictly anti-dehydration. Got bug spray. It's gonna be outside. Camouflage so I can sneak in front of the line without anybody noticing. I was gonna buy snow pants, but I decided to only buy things I would realistically use. Disney Plus was created because Disney owns 29% of the world, the other 71% is water. Now what's the point of camping out for a midnight release? There is none. The gummy gets shelby and in return the cashier gives us... a box. Thanks. No, it's a box the origami killer sent him. Well, that's our cue to leave, and the whole game could have ended here. Now, midnight releases are normally reserved for the big boy games. Games that would draw a big crowd. Games that you could put on your resume for waiting for. So, Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty midnight launches. Actually, this is a doctored photo. This is from the midnight after Modern Warfare 3's launch. I've never intentionally dabbled in midnight releases for games before. I usually just go to the store after waking up in the morning. Which is weird, because I do midnight releases for pretty much everything else in my life. I assume Nintendo started production of this thing because, like, what else did they have releasing in 2016? Jesus. Oh, damn it! Why did you do that? So then people are too distracted by the punch thing to realize it looks like I pissed myself. Hey Scott, the coffin just came. Where do you want it? <laughs> I already told you, this is a no coffin dance! Hey, I'm just throwing it out there. I called the police to ask them if it was illegal to give beer to kids without asking for their IDs. They're gonna be out here in about 10 minutes. All right, homecoming's over. Take your goodie bags. This is just a copy of Premium Rush. Get out. Well, I got questioned by the police. I yelled at everybody. Uh, beer was everywhere. I got home at 4 a.m. And I got fucking soaked. It was the homecoming I always wanted in high school! It looks like I have to crawl on this broken glass. This was a bad day to wear cargo shorts. All right, Mario Party 5 has a demo. Yeah, I get to pick the characters I play with. I like to choose strange groups of characters. Like, if you were invited to a party and these were the only ones there, would you go? Now, it turns out that Ethan's ex-wife is telling the police she thinks Ethan's acting weird. Well, no sh One son's dead, the other's been kidnapped! She's saying how, since he's acting weird, he may be the origami killer. Hey all, Scott here, and I'm on a quest. A quest to find a Mario Kart I grew up playing. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Hey all, Scott here. Can you imagine what life is gonna be like in 2019? We'll have more air, no more murder, immortality, and like two subscription services. So I was eating cereal this morning and it was fucking dreadful, thanks for asking. Hey all, Scott here. I wanna try a new thing every day. So today, I'm gonna be self-conscious. Do I really have what it takes to be a video game fan? Just to make sure nobody has any doubts that I am. I went to the store, I bought this fucking mug, okay? I like video games, all right? Hey all, Scott here. Bullshit. Finally, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A big thank you to Konami for putting this demo in here. And now I know for a fact I don't want to buy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You can get bonus items for Fire Emblem on GBA if you connect the little guy to the GameCube with Fire Emblem in it. I don't own the game, and before you ask, you can't trick it into downloading the items into Mario Party Advance. All right, we should just call the police already. We should just draw from the hat. Figure out who's the murderer. Yeah, I'm getting real tired of trying to figure out who the murderer is. If somebody just wants to step up and be the murderer so we can all go home, I'm all for it. Alright, Scott, steal wool. Rex, you're dead. Hey all, Scott here. Try before you buy. That's my motto. You can give a product a test run, and if you decide you don't want it, you shouldn't have to pay for it. You know, I don't actually know if I actually want this. Where's my receipt? It's all about obtaining a continuous flow of money regardless of the product offered. As an example, you buy one $20 digital movie on the PlayStation Store. First off, let me add to my list of people I don't trust. And secondly, but we saved the best for last, the final unlockable character in Mario Kart DS, Rob. It's about f***ing time. Amazon Prime Video. So first off, navigating Amazon Prime on any device is a half-baked slog of a time, and the selection is Netflix and Hulu's table scraps. D. All right, Apple TV Plus, you get a Y for Y. How do you prove you love video games? With a lawn chair and an open schedule. The Office became more popular than some religions in recent years, and you wanna know why? Because it was on Netflix. And then NBC said, we'll make our own streaming service and put The Office on it exclusively. 
stop it. Tracking your hand, there's a bit of a delay, so everything feels like it's almost in slow motion and you have to hold your hand over an option for a few seconds to select something. However, back when the Kinect originally came out, this was an effective way to make any casual gamer lose their mind. Yeah, you can get laid on the go. And as the game progresses, we get more powerful gophers. Oh. Oh, we're fucked. Modern retro gaming merchandise is nothing new. If you've ever had a wedding catered by Hot Topic, you know they've always been into this kind of garbage. But nowadays, you can easily walk into a Walmart or Target and find all these little knickknacks based on games from yesteryear. And if Walmart or Target isn't your thing, then Cracker Barrel will do. Come on, I'm a gamer, I love Cracker Barrel. Just like we play, we play motion included something. Nintendo went for the gold, jumped around any and all ways of making a profit on this. This is what we like to call a big Wii Play moment. Now, Apple made Apple TV Plus because I don't know, they were bored. That's the self-destruct. If we have to bail on the battlefield, we'll <gasps> oh want to destroy the beat before it falls into any hands. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, hey, so you go that far? It ain't funny no more, partner. Jeez, park yourself. Put your fucking hands down. Some people camp out for days ahead of time just to be the first in line, and I've always dreamed of being one of those people. What the f is this? And that's just how a lot of commercials are these days, lifestyle pieces. And that works well, but I will always cherish the more unique ads, the ones that just stick in your mind. And I just got back from the doctor and they said, that's not normal, it's a disease. It's reverse Alzheimer's. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed Scott Talks About Game Commercials. To pay, please send a check through one of the following methods. If you cannot send a single check, a checkbook will do. What will I do with all the money? That's tough to say. I think I might buy out the economy. <laughs> you can do stuff like that. Technically speaking, IBM owns the weather. Now, if I was a Star Wars fan, I could imagine how that midnight release would go. Whoa. Tons of love poured into the packaging and menus. These are great love letters to fans of classic Nintendo. And then guess what happened in 2018? The Rapture. This thing was sort of old news. However, with the Motion Plus accessory attached, you couldn't fit the Wii Remote in a bun. So in 2010, Nintendo introduced the Wii Remote Plus. It was a Wii Remote with Wii Motion Plus built in and thus is the exact same size as a standard Wii Remote. Now, how do you get more people to own a Wii Remote Plus? You bundle it in with Fling Smash, of course. You bundle it in with Wii Play Motion, of course. Mini arcade cabinets are everywhere. Seriously, there's like six something companies making fully playable versions of arcade games you can, jeez. Oh, fit in your pocket. Hey all, Scott here. Could you imagine a world where Wii Play Motion didn't exist? Hey all, Scott here. Could you imagine a world where Wii Play Motion existed? Yeah, it's fucking terrifying. I was wearing a polo. A developer was playing Brain Age and said, oh, Call of Duty. I mean, come on, it only made sense. Two screens, an X button, the DS was made for these games. Popping in an embarrassing amount of batteries and turning this thing on, we're greeted to son of a bitch. For pretty much all the My Arcade releases I've come across, they ain't using the original arcade versions of these games. They're using the NES versions of these games. Yeah, I'm pissed. But you know how things are, accidents do happen. What the f it broke? Now, I'm sure somebody must be saying, well, Scott, that's just Pac-Man. You should try Karate Champ. Who the f said that? Most people live their lives contently believing there to be no true sequel to Wii Play. You hear that? It's anarchy. It seems like every year SNK tries putting out a new Neo Geo nostalgia grabber and I am under the opinion that Neo Geo is cool and has its place in video game history, but I'm tired of people acting like it's bigger than it really is. Before you get mad, remember, I'm the guy who owns Just Dance 2020 on the Wii. Do you really think my opinion matters? Wii Sports Resort already did that. The entire point of that game was to do that. People weren't necessarily begging for another minigame collection showcasing the power of this thing. But hey, maybe they did something different and new enough with the technology to warrant this game's existence, right? Take a guess. That's right, we plays back! I don't need other games! Now at this point you may go, Scott, that's great, you like gaming merchandise. Have you played any actual games recently? I bought a Roomba if that counts. Teeter Targets, the only game made by Nintendo. Could you imagine Arzust asking Nintendo to develop Teeter Targets? What the f***? No! Look at the difficulty select. Each one is represented by this guy at different stages of chewing. You gotta shift the Wii remote back and forth to balance it all. Now, before you go... This isn't Wii Play, this is a bunch of bullshit. They already hate me, what's the point? Hey Scott, let you know man, just listen sometimes, you gotta do things to make it all right man, regardless of how hard they just make it be. I don't know who the f that is, but thanks.
Listen, guys. That's Mr. Guys to you. I'm sorry. I treated you all like you were worthless, and that's just not the case. Sure, I started doing this to get out of bankruptcy, but I realize there's so much more to this than just what benefits me. Well, we want to apologize also. We should be more grateful for what we were given, and we were way too harsh at first. And to be quite honest, this copy of Connect Adventures really hits the spot. Yeah, and I needed some firewood, and, you know, Skyline with Supercharged is just that. I didn't know what I was doing on Tuesday, but now I know! And DJ Hero too makes a pretty mean play. We know how much you went through to make all this for us, so we wanted to get you this. Not a wait on the Mac! And this. Not a wait on the PSP! And this. The OA collection for the PC! And this. Nah, I'm good. Oh my god, I finally have all the Madden 08s! God, sound like you did good, man. You did good, bro. Vince Young! You really did it. Keep up the great work, man. We all proud of you, man. Yes, of course. You're so much smaller than I expected you to be. Is he okay? Yes. You might be dehydrated. I know just the trick. Oh. Now my arcade must have been proud of this one. It's a big feature according to the box. Like most consumers flip their shit when they see this. Whoa! Maybe there's a gas leak or something. Maybe that's why everybody's dying. Thanks, I was talking. Don't oh, shit, it was you! Take off your mask, who are you? F I never would have guessed! It's time you meet your end. Getting murdered is the least of my concerns right now. Why did you do it? Shit deserved it, he wandered. I was too shy to mention that I was the one that killed him, so I find it'd be easier to kill everyone. Really? Five homicides and that's your reason? Make that six. You ever hear of the Madden curse? Oh my foot! I did it. I solved the mystery. I have seen a lot of murders in my day, and all six of them were today. The guys are all getting treated for murder at the hospital, they should all be fine. I'm pretty happy nothing happened to me though. I have jury duty tomorrow, which means I can't die. If I don't show up, I'll go to prison. <laughs>